Can you guess what it is? You absolutely cannot guess what it is. Soft, adorable little Parisian girl. And four hours ago, crusty no more. I feel like right after you're my left, then they're always giving them um, fly away back. We're hopping right into it. Today is Saturday. Y'all, we're on vlog number two. Okay, consistency is key. I've been up since like 6.30 this morning. It's eight. I got a lot of editing done, so the last vlog is about to go out to y'all in the next like two days. I need to leave in like 10 minutes, so I'm gonna eat a little quick bagel, y'all already know. And my boyfriend brought me flowers last night, and I wanted to do them, like cut them and style them before before Pilates, but I don't have time. So I'm gonna do it when we get back. And I think I might go get a matcha right after, but y'all, we have a full day and a full week. Like this weekly vlog, this is the weekly vlog. Like seriously. We're going to the rodeo. We have shows to go to. We got maintenance. I'm getting my hair done, my lashes done, my brows done, my nails done, all that. Flying to New York, flying to Paris, like so much, so much, so much. Let's get right into it. I'm about to eat a little bagel and then I'm gonna check in with y'all when I get back. And then we're gonna do these flowers together and chit chat a little bit more about the week. Hey vlog, I'm back from Pilates. Feeling good if you can't tell. Like that was a good, good Pilates class. And it like hit me that it was so early. Like, I don't know, when I was in there, I was like, damn, it's 8.30. Like, it's early, I have my whole day ahead of me. And I stopped and I got La La Land on the way back. I haven't drunk yet. So cute. I if y'all haven't been to La La Land, go to La La Land. If there's one in your vicinity, go. It's so cute. Like she hands me this cup. She's like, for Maya. She's like, thank you so much. We love you. I'm like, I love you too, lady. I don't know you. And they write compliments on the cup. Like it's the cutest thing ever, honestly. Okay, well, let's get taste test. I get an upside down matcha latte. My friend Tiff put me on a little glass straw. I low key, I forgot to ask for vanilla and I realized on the way back, I was like, this is nasty, it would be so sad. Mm. No, that's great, that's great. And I got a regular and not a large because last time I got a large, wait, right, last time I did the most actually. I got a large and then I wanted to try their like strawberry one. So I got the strawberry one and regular and I drank them both in like no time flat, which I felt sick. I literally felt like I was in front. <laughs> Guys, I told y'all I got flowers. I just took the cutest picture with my flowers and my mantra. I'm like, oh my god, what a cute Saturday morning! It's 10 a.m. Okay, so let's do these flowers. I was gonna just kind of make it, you know, cute with the music, but let's actually talk about what we're doing while I do these flowers. And these are my old flowers, y'all. In my apartment so far, I have not gone one week, one anything without having flowers. Like, my friend Jody got me flowers. Right when hers died, I had to throw them away. My friend Tiff came over, she brought me flowers. Like, next day, literally. And now these are dead and my boyfriend got me flowers. So it's just like, wow, so many flowers. Literally, the second that flowers, like these flowers die, and I don't get any more flowers from me, it would be so sad. And I liked this, but I don't know, it's like on camera right now, it's actually kind of looking cute. It makes me want to use that vase again, but when I had this looks better on my like kitchen counter Like when I first moved and I had these flowers on my kitchen counter it looked really good. So I think I want on my kitchen counter Okay Me and my boyfriend are going to the rodeo the store that I found in Houston that um, will basically Make you like they do those cowboy hats, and if y'all know what I'm talking, I don't know if y'all are on social media. I feel like y'all should know what I'm talking about because they do it a lot in like Aspen, Colorado, Wyoming, like when you go skiing type beat. I got my water, um, and I want to go do that. So we're supposed to. He's at work right now. We're supposed to meet at 1:30 at this um, like Western store, Western wear store, to get like boots and um, boots and like hats and stuff like that. Cause originally I told him, I was like, okay, I feel like we should just go again. Like I feel like today it should be more chill, sneakers, like we don't do too much. And then whenever we come back, we can do um, like cowboy hats and stuff. And he was like, I feel like we're not gonna end up coming back. Like he was like, let's just do it this time. 
I'm like, okay, we'll just do it this time. And so he's not gonna have time to like do the hat thing with me, but I kind of want to go like before him. I kind of want to leave here kind of early, like noon and go like get my hat done. I feel like it'd be so cute. And then go to, um, oh, actually, oh yeah, let me just use this. Um, go get my hat done and then meet him at the Western Wear store for like boots or whatever. And then I got more excited about it because like when I was in Pilates, my instructor was talking about the rodeo. Like she talked about the rodeo so many times, like played music, she's talking about 50 Cent being there last night. Like it was just, I don't know, the vibes are so right. And that was just such a good start to my day. Like I saw a tweet the other day that was like, the one thing you will never regret is like working out. And that is like so true. Like you so many times like don't feel like working out. It's like, okay, this is, this seems so exhausting. This seems like a task, et cetera, et cetera. But like, it is like the one thing that 10 times out of 10, you're gonna be so happy that you did it. Like you will never regret a workout. And that's just, that's just beautiful. So I have all my flowers. I did my flower food in y'all. I just kind of mess around until I find something that I like. That's really all you can do with flowers. I cut maybe like three inches. No, see, I'm gonna cut a little bit more. Maybe like, ooh, maybe like that much. And I normally will just like cut a lot like this and then just keep grouping them together in there. Like take all of these and then just kind of build as I go. That's what I'll do. Okay, got it. absolutely stunning let me give y'all y'all can see that that is so pretty oh my gosh oh my goodness that is beautiful this is like the prettiest arrangement I've ever done. I definitely feel like this just kind of solidified for me. Like I'm 100% gonna keep fresh flowers like on my counter at all times. My brother used to do this thing, it was so cool. He had like three big like paintings um, on his wall and every time he would like finish a bouquet of flowers, he would take like two or one or something and like pin them upside down and they would like preserve and so it'd be like three like dead preserved flowers like under each painting. it was so cute really cannot get enough of this like that is so freaking pretty oh my goodness flowers make me so happy face on my mom and i started looking through uh my clothes in the closet so i was like okay let me get something i showed y'all that skirt earlier in the week i'm gonna insert a pic this is kind of what the fit is looking like right now what i want something along these lines and i was telling my mom me and adam are gonna meet at a like western wear store and get some stuff and she was like i was like because i don't really know what i should wear with this i was like should i do white boots she was like maya you need to <laughs> she's so dramatic it was hilarious i'm not gonna lie she's like you need to go to the gallery right now she's like right now go to nordstrom go to dillard's she was like they have these white cowboy boots da, 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 da. me and my mom are cereal shoppers like you will find out in due time cereal shoppers like could tell you everything in freaking Nordstrom right now off the back of my head. And she was like, no, go right now. And I was like, right now? Kid you not, put on shoes, I was out of the door in five minutes. <laughs> I'm like 15 minutes away. So when we get there, I'm gonna try on some boots, some white cowboy boots, and hopefully just get the boots. I don't think I'm gonna get a hat. I'm gonna meet Adam to go get the hat. And um, it's gonna be super cute. I'm like now really committing to the fit, and committing to the look, like now it's a whole thing. So I'm also probably gonna look for like a top at Nordstrom. Okay, we're home. I got two pairs of boots from Steve Madden. Let me show y'all. And let me pull my skirt out cause we're gonna try to piece an outfit together real quick. And once again, this is the skirt, little cargo skirt. And I realized like after the fact it does have belt loops. I thought it didn't have belt loops. Cause now I'm like, I could have freaking got like a big Texas belt. My boyfriend is still going to like a Western wear store. I'm not going anymore. So maybe I'll ask him like if he finds something there that I can just like totally throw on there. Boots, very different vibe. These are black. These are kind of like, these are badass. Y'all see that? Hold on. Oh, no, not my face. Right. All right, got a square toe. This is a real cute boot. 
rookie boot and it's not like thigh high. This comes to like mid calf, right? I feel like this is the more true cowboy boot. Got a thicker wedge. That's thick, that's heavy. Okay, and then boot number two. This is the thigh high. This is more of the like cute, sexy boot. More like my style, something I would normally do. Cream, high, patent, super cute. Higher heel though, higher heel. And if you've been to the rodeo, rodeo is a lot of walking. Um, I did get some shoe inserts, so we'll see. Like it honestly depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling like beauty is pain, I'll wear them. If not, I'm gonna go with black. But if I can find, so right now my goal is to find a black shirt for the boots. So you see like, it has silver, that, is the, that has so much potential. Like it has silver hardware, so like I'm gonna do all silver. I feel like I can tie this in with a black belt and a black top. It's gonna be fire, okay. So let's try to find a black top. I'm gonna show you all my closet. Let's keep in mind, Tuesday, my organizer's coming, me and her. We're doing all of my laundry. We are ex we're taking all of the clothes out of this closet that I don't wear that don't fit me. She's getting a makeover in two days. Let's keep that in mind. Thank you. Okay. Girl is it she's tiny and mighty. Like she's small, but she just needs she just needs a little help. She just needs a little love. Okay. Oh, and that's actually kind of cute. Mm, okay. Off rip. I'm like, I could go leather boost it. Yeah, I'm so happy I didn't buy a shirt because I was like, dang, what black shirts do I have? Girl, you got black tops, the heck? This one would be so cute. I have this little like puff sleeve number from Abercrombie. I have a little like buttons down the middle. I don't know if you can see the buttons on the middle from, this is from American Threads. It's a little boutique in Austin. This is a little more risque. It's like a, Kinda, you see that? Right, it's really cute on though. Oh, this could be cute. I have this kinda like top from Zara and I feel like this potentially gives like cowgirl vibes. Actually, we're just gonna try those right now. Something is telling me that little puff sleeve is about to be really cute. Okay, honestly not in love with this top way I thought I would be. Honestly, let me try this one, hold on. Girl, hell no, what the? Girl, why is this shirt even in my closet? This is not cute at all. I feel like maybe if the waist, oh girl, no. Okay, well, I'm not gonna lie, the black is not working out in the way that I wanted it to, but I was trying to avoid having to wear those heeled boots, because those are gonna get uncomfortable, like I'm knowing after like an hour. I mean, honestly, the other thing is we're only really going for like two hours. It's not like we're about to ride a whole bunch of rides. It's gonna be more like, eat sit carnival game kind of vibe right now okay so let me show y'all the outfit that i had for like if i kept it light colors no black so this corset with the boots and the skirt has potential but it needs something over it like just the corset and the skirt alone is not it it needs like a little bolero or something okay fast forward the entire plot of the movie change like that whole outfit the cargo skirt wasn't working but we look he pulled something together way harder so let me show you i have this no piece of like grandma shirt no piece of some I'll, I'll put the brand name on there um that i got from Saks like two years ago cute ties in the front open back fire this belt my boyfriend literally just got me from cavenders these are veronica beard skinny jeans I'm moving this camera down so you're gonna see this whole outfit and these cowboy boots are super so cute. My bag is Stodd. This is from Nordstrom. I don't have, my black bags are with my mom in Austin, so she's bringing them when she comes. But this black, or this white bag is what I have for now. And it still works, like it's still cute. Um, and then I just did my hair in two little like pigtails. No cowboy hat, like wasn't really giving that. But two little pigtails. And it's super cute. And we're very much late because we have something else to do tonight. But we're making it work. Bye. I'll see y'all. I'm taking y'all with us to the rodeo. So I'll see you there. We made it to the rodeo. First bite, turkey leg. Adam's never had a turkey leg. Wait, I want to take this one.
gonna go hard, right? <laughs> okay, first food item, turkey leg. I'm still on the hunt for these waffle chicken things. We'll see if I find them. Okay, we, oh, you ate that drizzle. You ate that drizzle. It's chicken inside a waffle. I thought it was like, I mean, I guess chicken wrap and a waffle is the same as chicken inside a waffle. Hot. 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 It looked good though. Hmm? Tastes good? Mm hmm. These boots are too cute. Mm hmm. Look at that. Mm hmm. Bow. <laughs> <laughs> we have margarita. It's that actually quite tasty. Did you like it? Yeah, I like the bread. My bread with the waffle in. Right. Alright, here we go. I actually just want to eat a piece of meat off top. Hold on, let me make Last stop before we leave, we got deep fried apple pie with vanilla ice cream. I can't even get into that. I mean, I'm going to let y'all know how it is in the Uber. Good morning vlog. It's Sunday morning at 7.09 a.m. Okay, extremely early. Because I'm going to church. And it's first Sunday, like church starts at 8 a.m. But first Sunday it fills up, so I have to be there like 7.30. It's so often that I'm like, I wake up, that alarm goes off. Cause the night before is always Saturday night. So it's like, even if you don't go out, it's still hectic. In the morning, I'm like, oh my gosh, I do not want to get up. But I'm like, God don't sleep for me. He don't sleep for me, so I can't sleep for him. And I'm just like, I'm in bed up. And my boyfriend's picking me up in like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go downstairs. He was so tired. So I'm gonna go downstairs um, to the store, like right over here, and just grab us like energy drinks or coffees or something. Um, yeah. And I'll see y'all after church. This is my, I'm not gonna try to give y'all a full fit check. It's all Abercrombie. It's just this like mauve top, and then I have like brown tailored pants on, and my LV bag kind of brings it together because it has the pink and the brown. Um, my earrings are LHX collection, Coach, Coach, LV, blah, blah, blah. I can't do it by my, this bracelet by myself. My boyfriend has a statement. Um, this necklace is TikTok shop, period. But okay. I'm gonna go and I'll see y'all. And I'll see y'all later. Have a happy Sunday. Bye. Hey, girl, hey. We're back from church. Y'all are catching me moments before my post church nap. We went to brunch. Yo, I went to first watch for the first time. I know I'm like so late. But they have like a limited menu. They have a Brooklyn breakfast sandwich. Girl, what? That was like the best breakfast sandwich, sandwich period I've had in like a really long time. Like I would literally go back tomorrow and the day after and the day after and eat that same sandwich. Was that good? These are clothes for Paris. So I'm not going to try on right now. But later on, I'm going to FaceTime my mom and we're going to like walk through my outfits and stuff. I know I've said she's coming like 12 times. But she's actually coming tomorrow. Finally, um, and so we're gonna walk through outfits because like she has some accessories and like purses and stuff that I'm gonna want to have or keep or whatever. Okay, everything is Mistress Rocks. I'm honestly shocked everything fit in this one box. Like I did order quite a few clothes just in case. Please take care of your items when trying them on so they remain makeup. Fake tan and stain free. We may not be able to accept your turn if it is soiled. Girl, cause you would be shocked. You wouldn't be shocked, I'm sure you know. Like the amount of times I've gone in the mall and tried on a piece of clothing and there's makeup on it. I'm like, did you try girl? Did you even try? Okay, first top. Also not every single thing is Paris, but if it can be purpose and used for Paris, it's for Paris. Okay, this tailored top right it's a set so this is the top it's in the color slate y'all mistress rocks and house of cb are the same company and it's honestly so wild to me because the price point is so freaking different mistress rocks is nowhere near as expensive in my opinion it's nowhere near as expensive as um as house of cb okay this is not the other part to the set but whatever this is a corset top this is the front okay yeah this is the front it's like asymmetrical corset so you see you can't really see because the back is kind of getting in the way but it's like this okay with just lace sleeves and then just a plain black 
like bodice part, the first set. These are the pants to the top. See, a tailored pant. Y'all, this seems kind of short. Okay, no, 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 it's actually not short at all. Okay, so it's this with this top. It's gonna be so freaking cute. Oh, this has to fit. Like, there's no choice of it not fitting. Like, if it doesn't fit, I'm screwed. Then I got this red top. Y'all, I might wear this, depending on how cute this is. Cause it's like, let me see. Oh, it's cute. It's like, oh, what size did I get this in? This is it extra small? This looks big. Am I tripping? This is kind of big. I think I'm just used to clothes looking like teeny freaking tiny. Okay, it goes like over your neck in the front and it's like long sleeve lace again. Um, kind of like solid color bodice corset. And I think I might end up wearing this to the Mariah the Scientist concert because you're supposed to wear like red to her shows, which I literally have not bought my tickets to that concert. But if you know me, you know, play about that girl, which you would think that would mean I would have my tickets. I don't. Okay, and so then this, I'm really excited for this and I want this to fit. I know it's gonna look cute. It already looks so cute. It already looks so cute, but I want it to fit. Oh, it's cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's a, it's a dress. Wait, this is freaking cute. Oh my goodness. This is cute. Are you kidding? It's a shirt dress with a like corset. And you cannot tell me that's not like so Paris. I'm obsessed. I'm freaking obsessed. Okay, that's everything I got. That's what I got. I'm gonna sit my butt in bed and edit. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna edit for a good chunk of time. And then if I fall asleep, I fall asleep. I know regardless, my nap's not gonna be that long even if I do take a nap. Y'all, these clothes were cute. These clothes are really freaking cute. I'll check back in with y'all tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing anything tonight. Like, I really might just edit all freaking day. But, we'll see, girl. Good morning vlog, it is Monday morning. We're on the way to Pilates, feeling good. Definitely rushed out the house a little bit, but not late. My outfit today is real, like, it's one of those outfits that's cute when you start working out and you sweating a little bit and you take a jacket I was like, okay, it's like a show body type outfit. It's a little um, like cross strap top from Honor Active and then I'm wearing beige Lulu shorts, which I'll show y'all in a bit. Yesterday, productive day. So serious, like post-church, honestly, there's a few things. Okay, post-church, like I did exactly what I said I was gonna do. I edited for a little bit and I took a nap and then I woke up and I finished it. So the vlog for y'all last vlog is ready to go, then we posted, period, high five. Um, but y'all, all of those clothes, this is still like, all of those clothes that I showed y'all that I ordered for Mistress Rocks, nothing fit. Nothing fit. Apparently, I think I am Bella Hadid to waist two inches by two inches, and that is just not freaking accurate. But it's also crazy, like, I wasn't that misplaced because I have other things from Mistress Rocks, um, like tops and stuff, and I've gotten them in extra smalls. And I ordered like my little corset tops in extra smalls, those I showed you, didn't fit at all. The dress, the little shirt corset dress, didn't fit at all. Um, the the pants that little tailor set the pants fit perfectly actually and then the top i got in a small and it fits like it doesn't feel too small at all like it feels like a perfect fit but the buttons like it's I, girl i don't know if it's like made cheaply or what but like the buttons just automatically like stretch and pull so it looks like it's too tight like it just looks bad so my mom's gonna be down here today, which I told y'all she's about to be on her way right now. I actually need to call her and make sure she's on her way. And we're gonna go shopping. Whole shopping day because it's freezing and I keep talking about it, but I'm like, I am born and raised in freaking Texas, y'all. Like, I don't have a, there's nothing in my head that tells me how to dress for, where am I going? Anyways, I was going the whole ass wrong way just now. I don't know why or how, but, I was supposed to get there at 7.25, now I'm getting there at 7.27, 9.25, now I'm getting there at 9.27, um, which is so early, I'm not tripping, but I don't know what way I thought I was going just now, I think I was just cruising. But anywho, today we're gonna shop. I have no idea how to dress in cold weather. If I go take a trip somewhere cold, it's a ski trip. It's a ski trip and I know all I have to wear and pack is ski clothes. And that's it. But I'm like an actual trip where 
it's cold even like when we go visit new york we go in the summertime like i don't even know the last time i went to new york in the winter time every single time is summer <sighs> yeah i just mm -mm. and then it's not even sunny like i've been in like cold but sunny no cold cloudy rainy weather but also everybody's in paris right now like paris fashion week vibes post Paris Fashion Week vibes, like everyone's just in Paris right now. So I feel like the energy is gonna be heightened, okay? Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be heightened. Anywho, hopefully we find some good stuff. My mom is bringing like a lot of my coats and I'm saying a lot of my coat, hello? I'm saying a lot, of, hello? What the, do I not know where my lips are? She brought a lot of my coats. I right, she's bringing one coat because it's the only like big coat that I have. Okay, but I'll check in with y'all after Pilates. I really want to bring y'all into Pilates with me, but there is no, like, there's no way. Like, my Pilates studio is a small studio. Like, not that there's not that many reformers, just they're so close to each other. And if you take Pilates, you know. Bro, get in your lane. Okay, now my camera's missing you. Take Pilates, you know, like, you don't, everything you're doing is not on the reformer. Like you do stuff on the left side of the reformer, the right side of the reformer, in front of the reformer, behind the reformer. Like you're all around it, which kind of makes it like, even if I did set up a tripod, and then I just know like the kind of people that go to that class, the kind of class it is like, they would be uncomfortable. There's a new Pilates studio in Houston though that I do want to test out just for fun um, and see what they have going on. It's called Core and Soul, Soul Core, something like that. Um, and they literally promote, like they encourage filming, like, on their website they're like tripods provided if you want to film da, 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 da. and it's super cute so i'm like i'm actually all in for that it just depends on like what the classes look like but the price tag bro it's like so unreasonable 300 dollars a month for unlimited classes which is crazy i made 240 right now solid course 200 flat i'm like what am what 300 and it's like three after tax like 320 i'm like yo that is a bit much like the classes are like dumb expensive, like dumb expensive. I don't know, I just haven't taken a Pilates class that gives that price tag. I mean, if it does give that price tag, okay, more power to you, but it's tuh, 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 tuh. I don't know that it's giving that. Oh, and it just started raining. How wonderful is that? Okay. I'll talk, oh, okay, it's raining, raining. Cool, cool, cool. I'll talk to y'all after Pilates will go. Vlog, it is 8.46 p.m. Monday night, we've been shopping all day. No food, no sustenance, no nothing, okay? I ate breakfast at 11 a.m. I've had nothing since. We went to Hudson House. Do y'all see the salad? Let me cover my face so like the salad can have her moment. This is their Hudson House salad. It's literally popcorn chicken, lettuce, like arugula, bacon, um, avocado, tomato. Yeah, I'm excited. And then my mama got a chicken parm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Chicken parm. Also trying to cover my face so she gets her moment. And then I got their French chicken, which all the sauces are on the side, so it doesn't look like it's giving right now, so I'm not even gonna show her because she ain't got her moment. They separated the whole thing. It's like chicken and fries and arugula. Y'all, we shopped till we dropped. Okay, literally, look at the cart that we brought from the car. Full of only things from today. But we're about to eat, y'all. I have to take these braids down. It is 8.47 p.m. I have a hair appointment tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And every single one of these braids has come out of my head. And if you can't tell, these are not like big braids. These are not itty bitty braids, but they are not large. So, should be fun. My boyfriend cannot come help because he's doing things. So it's supposed to be me and my mama and maybe one of my friends, and we're gonna try to get this done. Good morning vlog. It's the next day, I'm very terrified as to what's under this bonnet. Okay, that's not, that's not the worst thing in the world. Um, so, <sighs> I've been editing this morning. I don't know what it is, but since I moved, like my body, I just naturally have been waking up so freaking early. Um, I have to detangle my hair. As you can see, it looks insane. I took my braids out last night. Y'all, we literally put on Meet the Parents, me and my mom and my friend Jody, put on Meet the Parents, and we took 
all of my little braids down in two hours. It was honestly the best time I've ever made with braids or something. Um, but my last appointment with Precious, I just came out of my sewing braids and I didn't detangle my hair. Now, uh oh, now I'm gonna be so for real. I have been getting braids, getting sew-ins for like a little minute now. And anytime I take my braids out, like right now, this, like the way my hair is, I just get in the shower. I would get in the shower and I would wash my hair. But you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to detangle all of your hair, dry detangle your hair before getting in the shower. And I think that is just what doesn't feel natural to me is like dry detangling. Right now I'm just like a little oil massaging some oil in my scalp, through my scalp. Um, cause today I'm getting a half up, half down. It's gonna be super cute. Um, but I must literally just take this brush. Let me divide my hair in half. But I'm gonna take this brush and comb through all my hair. Yo, I realized literally like 20 minutes ago I was supposed to wash my bundles for her, which I'm still gonna try to do. It's just gonna take me a little longer. So really, I have a lot to do right now. It's 8.15. This is not doing anything. We gotta comb. It's 8.15. And my girl is coming to start my closet and my laundry and all that stuff at 9. So truly, I need to prep for her, which is like going through a lot of stuff in my closet, getting rid of a lot of stuff, or just taking it out and like putting it on my bed so that she can like take it off hangers, fold it up, put it in a box, like stuff like that so that it go to Goodwill. You can literally still tell I have a fresh trim, like none of my ends are split like my hair doesn't thin out at any point it's like thick all the way until the very end okay so it's 8 15 when i'm done with this i'm going to start on my closet then when i'm done with my closet i'm going to or kind of when she gets here i'm going to try to explain to her oh my gosh see bro i'm like so short on time honestly okay this is hair shed from um the left side of my head i've had these braids in for Let's see, I got these done on, on February 16th. Today is March 6th. So, got a few weeks, nothing crazy. I'm not braiding this or anything. Like, it's just, okay, that's a little crazy. I'm not that trifling. I just don't know how to get these bundles washed, like, so for real. Because I can dry them with my, like, Dyson Airstrike. Because at first my issue was drying them. But... I'm just gonna try to grind it out right now. Just start on the closet. Or should I do the bundles now? I'm so conflicted. I'm gonna start. No, I need to start on my closet. Okay, I'm gonna do my. Oh, I'm gonna do my closet now. Okay, and y'all, y'all don't have like an update on my day. So I have a hair appointment at 10 a.m. Then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna start trying on outfits, putting outfits together for Perry. And then um, I'm going to a lash appointment at 6.30. And then tomorrow in the morning, I'm going to try to get my nails done. And then um, my eyebrow girl still hasn't texted me back. Because I don't actually need my eyebrows done. I just wanted them tinted. Because I had them tinted like a couple weeks ago. But you can tell that like it's old now. This, this is hair shed from the right side. Total like three weeks of braids that's not that bad at all honestly honestly more will come out in the bowl but just like first detangle i feel like that's pretty good okay girl that's just gonna have to work for now i'm gonna put a little bit more oil like on the edges of my hair and stuff hair detangle check need to wash bundles need to go through this closet <laughs> hay with the fresh hair y'all this is cute this is cute and you can't tell me it doesn't give paris like this is like soft adorable little parisian girl 
so right now I'm on the way to my lash appointment. Y'all, my lashes don't even look half bad to be honest, but there's definitely like, it's not gonna last me another like eight days. It's just not happening. So I'm getting a fresh set, fresh set on up. I'm getting my brows done tomorrow. Y'all, I, my brow girl, she's the goat. She's the goat. I'm gonna plug her, of course, but she is the freaking goat, for real, for real. And I am just thankful. I'm eternally thankful and grateful to her because she's getting me in. And she's like, all of my service providers stay booked, honestly. Like, there, I have basically no service provider that I can get like a quick appointment with. Like, everyone has to be made days, weeks, damn near months in advance, literally. And I got my brows done like a week or so ago. So they're still shaped, but I wanted like them retinted because it was like when I had that like pimple on my face. So I was like just not really worried about the tan. I was just washing all of my face and washing over my eyebrows every single day just because I didn't like the fact that a pimple was there. And then, so I'm also filming like a um, beauty maintenance vlog for TikTok. So I did hair today. Then I'm gonna ask her if I can set up like my tripod in here for my lashes. We'll see what she says. I've honestly never asked her before, but we'll see if she if she lets me or not. And where I'm gonna take y'all right after this, literally right after this, we're going straight to the beauty supply. And this camera is not almost done, but she don't look too charged. So I'm gonna get off here so that I can make sure y'all are at the beauty supply with me, period. Okay, lashes are done. I feel like right after my lashes are done, they're always giving um, fly away butterfly. But with the beauty supply, um, the one that I would normally go to, I didn't even think about, like, I got my lashes done late. I never get my lashes done late. Like, I always get them done early, but hair appointments for me always take, like, basically all day, so I wanted to book the last possible lash appointment. Um, and so then the beauty supply that I normally go to is closed because it's, like, 8 o'clock. And so I'm going to this one out here by my lash girl. But let's go! Hey vlog, I know my edges are looking crazy, please ignore, we're doing them tomorrow. So I went to the beauty supply, got my lashes done, as y'all saw, and I am currently to film a campaign for Belief. Um, it's an ASMR style like skincare vlog, or video, I'm actually kind of excited for it, because I have like a whole bunch of stuff, like I have my cooling globes, and I'm gonna like dermaplane, like it's gonna be real cute. Um, I thought like, okay, my hair is real cute, but I wanted to do like a headband, like the spa headband, but when I put it on just now, hello, when I put it on just now, it was not giving, like, is it giving? It's kind of giving, not really though. It looks fine, girl, I don't know. I think it's just because like the actual hairstyle is so cute, I'm like, why is it under, why is it hiding? But I'm not gonna do the full skincare like with my hair all out for real. Um, anywho, oh, and I've been wanting to try this. My mom got me this Mojave Ghost um, hair mist. I'm gonna try this tomorrow. That was actually so off topic. But anyways, tonight I had tonight I had a really good night. I actually did what I thought I wasn't going to do which is go through basically all of my outfits for the trip and i folded up basically the majority of what i have to do i have to go to the mall tomorrow to do one return one store left the sensor on a jacket so i gotta take that off and then i'm picking up tailored pants from nordstrom and i already like packed my bag it's by the door i like my return stuff i have my outfit because tomorrow is my um cover event and I have my outfit for tomorrow laid out, not the girl outfit, like just my go run errands. My brows are at 10.30, so I'm literally going brows, mall, and then if I have time, I'm going to do nails. Because I absolutely have to pack before my cover girl of it. I don't have to necessarily have all my toiletries packed, because for me, toiletries are like a real easy one, two, three. But my clothes need to 100% be in packing cubes, because the event is over at 9.30, which is not late, but... I don't want to be up all night. I'm like honestly really opposed to doing that. Um, I honestly kind of want to edit on the flight to New York because the flight to Paris, we have like really good timing. So we're leaving at like 9.30 at night and then we're getting to Paris at like 10 a.m. So it's like if I sleep that flight, I won't be jet lagged. 
honestly just trying to be real organized real structured and my house is so clean right now it makes me so happy my house is so clean i'm about to film this video right now and then i'm getting in bed literally ready for it tomorrow and so my stuff is on until 10 30 if i wish the mall open early if the mall open at 8 a.m girl it would be done before i went there um even the nail salon like doesn't open until later so honestly tomorrow i probably have a chill morning like go get some coffee not actual coffee but go to a coffee shop i don't know like eat a nice breakfast or something because it's a big day it's a long day and it's a big day tomorrow like the corona is my first influencer event ever so i'm excited and it's with covergirl like that's just super exciting actually technically it's not my first but like i would call it my first but okay i will see y'all in the morning i'll probably take y'all to the coffee shop with me we can get a little cute something like i don't know maybe a little montage but anyways i'll talk to y'all in the morning good night morning vlog it is 9 a.m on wednesday our full day i talked to y'all last night about what i had to get done and i did it all okay filmed my campaign edited my campaign delivered my campaign i finished cleaning i did basically most of my packing it's not like packed but like outfits laid out okay and y'all we actually have some pr i've already opened it so it's not like we're opening it together but i need to like take pictures and post it so i just got which i'm like so freaking excited for do y'all know shayla makeup by shayla she sent me all three of her season 10 fitness outfits like she dm me she's like we would love to send you a set i'm like that sounds so great and she sent me freaking three and she wrote me a note she said hi maya congrats on your new apartment it's such a vibe i wanted to introduce you to my new fitness brand season 10 my goal is to empower women of all shapes and sizes to feel comfortable and confident while working out low shayla which that's just the cutest thing i've ever seen and i know i saw clark try these um these sets on and it was tea and i'm taking at least one or two of them to paris i'm gonna i told you i'm taking a pilates class in paris um, so I'm gonna take a couple of these pairs and work out in them and y'all see what it looks like So yeah, I love that then my second PR package I got from Verse. they sent me it's honestly the cutest little like magnetic box and They sent it's a retinol body butter press called press restart um, Introducing our rich nourishing body cream infused with texture reforming retinol to help visibly firm smooth and even skin and this is also just such cute i like when when companies put a little little effort into their pr box then from our favorite man in the world makeup by Mario. okay this literally got delivered to my mom's house and she brought it with her which i was just so eager for so he sent me three concealers in 460 i honestly should use these tonight for my beat 460 440 and 420 i think the one that i have i used to use was 440 or that i have been using is 440 and then i got one up and one down i'm pretty sure that's what i selected then a brush i don't know what kind of brush this is actually it looks like skinny enough to be like an eyeshadow brush but Oh, it's a concealer brush. Oh, and it's nice. <gasps> okay, wait, I'm actually so freaking excited to use this. Okay, I'm gonna use that tonight too. I won't see how this compares to Hourglass. Y'all know I love an Hourglass brush. And then I got my Surreal Skin Foundation, same shade I always get. Um, it's 20, 20N, right? 20N, right? Super cute, fresh, new bottle. I honestly might do like a full Makeup by Mario beat today. Like, I feel like that might be the vibes. Um, it's just so crazy when you really start finding like so many makeup products that you like. Like, a foundation, like I used to hate foundation and I have like three, this, Makeup by Mario, Rem Beauty, and NARS Light Reflecting are like beautiful foundations. All three are like literally incredible. Okay, and, oh. Yes, yes, this is literally the brush that I wanted. The two sided, yes, it's the double sided one. Oh, that was good, got so good. So cute. Like, 
Makeup by Mario is PR. Like when they first reached out to me, I was absolutely gagged. Like I did not get over it. I'm literally still not over it. We got Fenty Beauty and it's the Riri. Oh, she actually sent a, oh, I didn't even realize that's what's in here. She did, okay, so it's like the matchsticks, right? Um, she sent me three shades. I've literally never used them, like, hold on. It's truffle, suede-ish, and espresso. So I just like kind of try to match myself somewhere in the middle. When I order like shades or get shades from um, PR, I get one in the middle and then one up, one down. Then I got, they also sent me, these are like shimmer sticks, or what are these called? Yeah, shimmer skin sticks. Um, and she also put a page in here about that, these three. And I've never used these. They're like, kind of like a liquid highlight type Can we? No, okay, the shades are Ice Cream, Yacht Life, and Confetti. Yacht Life is pink. This is, like, I feel like this would blend right in with my blush. But this one, Ice Cream, this is very close to um, Hustla Baby. Mo Money Hustla Baby highlight is my like, I've literally been using that highlighter from Venti since I was in middle school maybe, like beginning of high school, four or five years now, it's the highlight. Okay, but yeah, that's the end of my PR. I'm about to take pics, post this all on Instagram. And then you also, the girl that was helping us out at Nordstrom the other day, she's gonna be in because I still don't have a dress or a outfit for this event tonight. So I'm gonna um, go to Nordstrom. I already like packed my little bag for my mall returns and stuff and I'm gonna go there after my bra appointment. But I think right now it's 9.30. Me and my mom are about to go grab some breakfast before my appointment and she can watch my last vlog before I post it. And I got my intro yesterday, which I guess y'all have already seen. At this point, y'all see my intro twice. And I just saw it for the first time yesterday. A lot, I don't even have y'all on a tripod right now. Look at my, <gasps> Look at my eyebrows. Who is she? Who is she? 24 hours ago, crusty no more. I was never crusty. I was a little crusty, not gonna lie. Right now, I'm heading to back to Precious, my hairstylist, and getting her videos. We filmed like the last 30 minutes of um, the vlog on her phone. The vlog of the hair appointment on her phone and i forgot to airdrop them to myself so i'm gonna go get them from her and then we're headed to the mall to try on my girl's already pulling them dresses um for the event tonight Bro, hey y'all i'm feeling good so good ready for this event i found my dress it's fire super cute it's a little pink house cb dress y'all are gonna see it tonight so went to the mall picked up some stuff so first, I got this little Skims top from Saks. I, my mom bought me the full like periwinkle set. It's just sweatpants and the cargo jacket. And it's cold everywhere. So I was like, let me get a long sleeve. Cause the shirt she got me is cute, but it's like, it almost looks like a pajama shirt. So I was like, let's take that one back. Got this instead. And then I went to garage and they had like matching little fuzzy stacking sock things. Which I was like, that is freaking perfect. And it met like, they're identical, exact same color, beautiful. Then I picked up my jeans from the tailor at Nordstrom, or my pants, those two pairs of pants. These jeans, okay, I'll probably talk about them later when I wear them. I tried these on, yo, most comfortable freaking jeans ever. Super flattering. They're good American, but they feel like leggings. Like, almost feels like return of the jegging, but it's not skinny, like it's a wide leg pant. And then these are just like brown faux, you can't really see the pattern, a little bit. Um, and so I have like a, a sweater, like a cream sweater to wear this with. We're about to pack. Y'all, we are about to get packing. It is 2.33. My goal is to start getting ready at four, for a 6.30 event. But four will give me time to like really indulge in my makeup. I honestly can start at like 4.15 because my eyebrows are done. And if you know, you know, like that takes up the majority of like doing my makeup. And bro, I'm so excited about that new freaking Makeup by Mario brush to do my blush with. Like I'm so excited. Um, but we're about to start packing. I showed y'all earlier. And I'm going to make a pack with me, but I kind of want it to be like 
I don't know, more, not vlog style, but I want to talk through it. I don't want it to just be like, here's the outfits. Because the clothes are big. And like, people love the pack of me where you show the outfits when it's little bikinis and stuff. Um, like you're going to the beach. So I want to like talk through it. And I kind of want it to be like packing tips. Like, because I feel like I'm really good at packing. Like, I genuinely feel like I'm so good at packing. And so I would love for the video to be like, here is how you should pack. Like, pack like me, pack with me, to pack like me, period. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting literally the biggest freaking purchase of the day. Can you guess what it is? You absolutely cannot guess what it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you guess what it is? Y'all, yeah, this is my first, this is my first one. <laughs> Girl, wait, 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 wait. Where's the, where's the thing? Right there. Hey, girl, yeah, just, just pulled up for brunch. Yeah, 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 just, just, you want to grab a quick little lunch? Are you kidding? That's the cutest freaking bag I've ever seen. And I'm taking it to the event tonight. But just like, beautiful. Beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. I'm obsessed, actually obsessed. And I'm about to start packing, and I'm excited to pack, honestly. Most of my outfits are totally laid out. So this is gonna be a real easy, like, one, two, three, pack with me. But I'll check in with y'all. Honestly, y'all probably won't see me again until we're about to go to the cover girl event. Like, that's probably the next time I'll check in. Hi vlog. Okay, I was about to film my voiceover for my beauty maintenance vlog, but I've been neglecting y'all and I'm so sorry. I went to the CoverGirl event. Y'all saw the CoverGirl event. Okay, I did a recap. I got some cute pictures, some like some of those bomb pictures I've had in a hot minute. And I flew to New York, so my flight, I landed at noon, and I ended up waiting around like 30, 45 minutes for my bags just for them to tell me that they were going to Paris, so. <laughs> Went to the hotel with my aunt and my little cousin, and we ate food, got a little something to eat, and I knocked out. I was trying so hard to stay awake, but I took the fattest nap, um, and I've just been working, y'all. I've been working nonstop, like... If you know me, you know I sleep on every single flight I get on. I did not sleep on my flight from Houston to New York, and I didn't get that much sleep the night before. I got like four hours of sleep, so the fact that I stayed awake the whole time is crazy. Um, but I was just editing. I still have literally so much more editing to do. This vlog, I've not started editing, and we're about to close it out. Like, we're literally closing it out, and I've not started editing it. So maybe the first like two hours of this flight, I can just like grind it out and edit. But yeah, um have a grand old time in Paris and y'all I'm in the United Polaris lounge at um, Newark this is the nicest freaking lounge I've ever been in like Amex Centurion mm -mm. United Club no we literally went to United Club and scanned our boarding passes and a pop-up comes on the screen where they're like you have access to Polaris are you sure you'd still like to go here and the lady was like uh go to Polaris and we we're like I'm sorry she was like it's like way nicer than that and so yeah now we're at Polaris I'm in one of these like little um quiet suites I'm the only one in here which is why I was talking because they're like open but I originally wanted to go to like one of the little working pod phone booth kind of vibes but they're all taken and they're taken by people that aren't even on the phone or talking which is like you're just sitting there this girl's literally sitting there online shopping I'm like girl oh so I can get in there but yeah y'all this is such a fun vlog, are you kidding? We went to CoverGirl. We did full beauty maintenance to go to Paris. Like, full, full, full beauty maintenance going to Paris. We did, and y'all saw my beauty maintenance vlog. Um, 
We went to the rodeo. Yes, we started this vlog at the rodeo. We went to church. Like y'all, y'all really saw a lot. And this was, I feel like, my second full week in routine, and I still got to like do a little something fun at the end. But next vlog is Paris. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm actually so excited. And we kind of got a, a little plan done. I don't know if I told y'all, but like we didn't really have a plan for this trip. It was kind of, it was a last minute trip. Um, and so we have more of a plan down. I'm gonna go to Pilates in Paris, yay. I'm gonna book the class. And I'm also going to, we're gonna go to Disney World. So yeah, it's gonna be so fun, I'm excited. I hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as I did and I will see you in Paris, bye.